Well, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times with Scar here, bringing you another super awesome Minecraft episode. And in today's episode, we return to the Scarland Roller Coaster Project to create one of the coolest floor designs and chandeliers. So let's get this episode underway. And welcome back to Scarland. And it's always great to have you here for another super awesome project. Let's close our creeper gate and get going. So I've got all the supplies all ready to go for today. So let's take a quick look at them. So our materials here are to create an amazing floor and a chandelier. So we've got all sorts of really great materials all scattered in our inventory here looking super snazzy. But we've got a problem, my friends. Oh, we have a problem. The mobs have set out on a vendetta to take me down. They have been trying, trying, and have succeeded in some accounts to take me down recently. They've broken my record on Scarland for no deaths. I haven't died in probably four to six months, and they took me down. It was a whole effort amongst a creeper, a witch, and a skeleton, all planning devious plots around here to take me down. So we're all armored up and ready to go for today, and let's quickly take a look at some of our terraform we've done for our snow golem farm tent as you can see we've done quite a bit of work and i have kinked off the waterfall for now so what i've been doing here is just trying to scale back some of the ice and snow and the diorite or cookies and cream block and introduce some additional materials i feel like we may have went a little over the top with some of the ice blocks so i'm trying to kind of rein it in just a little bit and i think it will look a little bit better once we do that it's a uh, very time consuming, like we've always talked about the terraforming uh, survival. And if you kind of go astray a little bit, eh, double that time up a little bit. So that's kind of where we are. But eventually we're going to find where we want to be. Um, I'm super glad about the placement we've done because, as you can see, this is the waterfall, which is eventually going to lead to a beautiful river and things of that nature. But as you can see, the tent up there, the emulation of all the water. Oh, it's. It's, I think it's going to be amazing when it's done. So that waterfall, that flow of water kind of uh, originates from, of course, the tent where all the ice and the snow is. So I think that's going to look really cool and be able to kind of tie things together. And that's kind of a cool thing to be able to uh, do in your builds where you could take maybe uh, a tent or a farm or something, but then uh, kind of implement it into the natural landscape of your world. So I think that's pretty cool. And I need you guys to keep a weather eye open because those mobs, like I said, are up to no good. So we are of course in the Skyland roller coaster lobby here and this is where we're going to be working. So let me get out a few materials to get us off started and ready to rock. So right here we're going to start working on our floor design. Now what I've done is gone ahead and laid out the floor as you could see a little bit. Kind of got a pattern that I want so follow along here as we go. So it's pretty simple design. So we're just kind of making a little uh, a little uh, let's see a W ASD key right here getting that all set up right there looking fancy but anyway uh, the design is a compass it's a compass because the roller coaster theme is exploring and exploration and all that good stuff so of course this is kind of going to be a compass so this is north and then we're going to have south and all sorts of the different areas kind of representing some of what at least what I think of when I think of the colors of those different areas kind of the terrain's color so when I think of the south I think of beautiful deserts the Grand Canyons and all sorts of amazing things uh, Bryce Canyons and things like that in the United States when I think of the north I kind of think a little bit where I live with lots of kind of fir trees and snow and mountains and things like big uh, the Cascade Mountains and then when I think of the east which I haven't really spent nearly any time or been there at all but I kind of think of green a little bit I kind of look at the map and kind of see green so we're gonna kind of go with some green over there maybe you guys have a better suggestion for the good old east but uh I've never really spent much time in the east coast of the United States so I don't know I I think I think green represents it pretty well um, I think that'll look really nice. Now for the West, I've come up with some dusty colors. So I've come up with, uh, for that one, we're gonna do a little bit of brown and we're gonna do a little bit of white um, to kind of create kind of that dusty plains feel a little bit. I think that'll look really nice too. All right, so we are looking super fancy here, getting this all complete. And yeah, so I just wanna go on a little bit um, about the design a little bit. Like I was talking about 
The roller coaster is a bit of an adventure theme. I don't have all the show scenes built up yet. That's all going to come in time. Um, I have some ideas, nothing super concrete yet. I do know that there's going to be a kraken in the ocean. There's going to be a pirate ship, but different things like that. I think it'll be kind of scenes of adventure. Um, so hopefully that'll it'll come out pretty cool. So there we go. We've got our points of the compass all set up and ready to go looking super fancy. So let's swap out those materials. And what I'm going to do here is I'm to do this side and then i'm going to come back to you guys and finish up over here we're under hostile attack we're under hostile attack there is a conspiracy afoot with the mobs lately full-on armored uh, zombies there multiple bob the creeper inspectors are moving into the attack oh man there is a conspiracy afoot there's a conspiracy afoot here haha <laughs> let's get out of here and get back to work so we have quite a bit of work here to do so let's have a little bit of our delicious mutton yeah that's sarcastic anyway let's uh let's get going here awesome so this is what i've completed in the meantime here so i've got this area all kind of looped up and ready to go now you might see some dirt in there that's temporary but um yeah so let's get started here so first thing i'm gonna do here i'm just gonna kind of connect that and then start this kind of zigzag pattern now with under the carpet here we are going to add some lighting so that is definitely something we'll add on this side that has not been completed all right there we go so what we're kind of doing is we're looping this around so we're going on the opposite side here we're taking our dark chocolate here and we're just bringing that along there like so looking super duper snazzy there we go and bringing that across and i think this will look really cool it kind of adds kind of a, a carpet feel almost if you will um just kind of makes like a big rug in the middle of the lobby so i think that is super cool okay wonderful and then i'm just going to get out a couple torches real quick just to make sure everything's light and bright just a couple temp temp temporary temporary scar temporary torches there we go and then I'm just going to line this up to make sure that everything is looking good. Okay, good. Wonderful. Just wanted to make sure. There we go. And then we're going to swap that out for some full-on blocks here. Nice. There we go. And then we'll bring those in there. Looking super good. Cool. So hopefully you guys are uh, enjoying the design. I really hope you guys are. And if you have any input or things along those lines about the design, definitely let me know. And I want to know what you guys are working on in your own worlds right now on Minecraft. Like what what, uh, what design or build are you uh, doing right now? I'm a. Uh... I'm, I'm just having so much fun right now building this roller coaster. I'm just curious, kind of see what you guys are up to, what kind of builds you're working on in your own worlds. And let's see, there we go. Made a mistake there, but fixed it right on the bat there, right on the money there, Scar, right on the money. Awesome. Looking super snazzy. Now there's an extra stray block right there and right there. Now that is not something that's over here. So let's just kind of fix that up a little bit. Um, let me just readjust this just a smidge i think i may have made one little mistake here let me fix that there we go and i'm just going to insert that below swap and place this down and then that will look fancy 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 but anyway yeah i was just curious to see what you guys are up to what what kind of builds are you guys working on a house a castle uh you know a shop a redstone contraption that i have absolutely no idea how to do <laughs> But yeah, let me know. I was just curious to see what you guys are doing. And there we go. We've got the floor design complete. Looking super awesome. Now I'm just going to fill in this section right here. And I'm going to double check over here and do the same on this side. And then, of course, we're going to continue. I'm going to be a cheat here. I'm going to be a cheat. And I'm going to put it like that. <laughs> Wonderful. Anyway, let me take a quick look from above to kind of see how this all came together. Let's get out our scaffolding. There we go. And of course, I'm going to get rid of all these torches and I'm going to fix where the dirt is under those blocks and add some additional cyan instead there. But look at that. That is amazing. I hope you guys are enjoying this so far. But yeah, let's move on now to the chandelier. All right. And welcome back. So I've assembled some scaffolding for our build here. So what I'm going to do here is start to get up here a little higher and we're going to start going off of this block here. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. Four, so we're perfect there and then we're going to get out some cobblestone walls and then we're going to bring this down to about three i feel i feel like about three would be a nice height at this point here uh, let me get down some food i've got some selection here i think i'm going to go with the steak this time <laughs> all right there we go so from there now i'm going to get out some andesite very cool very cool i'm going to place that down below and then swap back in here and grab out some stairs and of course some stone slabs 
And I forgot our most important thing today is a scaffolding. All right, so from here, we are just going to go down here and put a temporary sneaky block. And then I'm going to go like this, beautiful. And then of course, we're just going to do a quick bit of scaffolding along here. There we go, get that all assembled like so. And then once we get a nice set of scaffolding down, this thing will be a little easier to do. There we go, wonderful, and get that across there, awesome. Okay, so from here now, we're just going to bring that across. There we go, as you can see, slowly adding that, moving scar mistake blocks out of the way. There we go. And I'm just gonna back that down just a little bit. I'm gonna place another super sneaky block down below. And then from there, I'm just going to once again, connect some additional blocks along here. There we go, place that one there. And then sneak on over here and then place another one right there, connecting those. Looking super snazzy so far, looking super snazzy. Okay, I'm gonna drop down just a little bit farther. There we go. And then you can get a little bit of a bird's eye view of that floor down there. I love that thing. Okay, there we go, beautiful, wonderful. All right, moving right along today, look at this. Okay, so next what we're gonna do here is we're going to get out some more scaffolding there. Okay, and then we're gonna grab out our stone brick here. Now from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go like one, go out like that. And then I'm going to place another block right there and then go up and I'm going to cut that. Hmm, that didn't work out. Well, 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 that did not work out as well as I anticipated. Let's drop down a little bit. There we go. There we go. That's what we're going to do. I always goof that up. I don't know if you guys have a better solution to do that, but you can always let me know. There we go. Awesome. All right. So next up here, we're going to go boom and a bam, and then we're going to swap into here. Grab that, place that up on top. There we go, looking snazzy. Um, yeah, I forgot the one block that I needed. I need a smooth stone block on top of here, but of course we'll do that at another time. Another time, Smee, another time. Okay, there we go, awesome. And then let's see, let me see, let's get this across here. Um, hmm. Let's see, oh, I know what we could do. Let's put the banners here instead. I had an idea, but I feel like the banners would look good over here. Yeah, that would look awesome. That'll look great. And now the question, oh, 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 oh my, oh my. Get off there, get off there. You're not supposed to be there. Come on, come on, <laughs> get off there. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna place that one right there. Now the question is, should I place another block under here? I don't know, but I kind of like what we've got so far. So let's get those smooth uh, stone blocks to go on top of the glowstone. And I think we'll finish this up. All right, so let's get up here and put the final touches on these guys. Place a little smooth stones on there, looking super snazzy. Just gives it a nice little top on top of there. There we go, looking super fine, looking super fine. So next thing I wanna do is I wanna jump down here real quick and then decide kinda where I wanna put these things. Let's see, let's see, let me grab out these ones. There we go, and I think I'm gonna do these over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go boom, boom, and bam, bam, like so. And then I'm gonna grab out, what if I do actually these? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I like that, I like that a lot. All right, and then I'm gonna go over here and I'm going to drop down the orange, there we go, and the red, and I'm gonna move out these pieces here and then I'm gonna go, let's see, boom, boom, and bam, bam. Awesome, I think that'll look really kind of cool. And then of course, we'll put some lighting under here and I think that'll look really nice. The lighting still, of course, is not quite done. We still got lots more lighting to kind of work into the design, but I feel like this will kind of look nice. And I like having the dark on um, top, so it's almost like smoke rising or something like that, I don't know. I think that looks nice. Okay, and then let's see, you are blue, right? Yes, you are, you are blue. There we go, nice. There we go, so it just gives it that little extra bit of color. Now the question is, shall we keep the smooth stone over there or should we go with this to kind of carry on this theme? And I've got no time for you, zombie, I'm sorry, but I need you to go away, thank you. Should we do the smooth stone like that or should we do the smooth bricks? That's the question I don't know. I'll have to ask you guys which one you guys like more. One kind of gives a little contrast, the other kind of you know carries the same theme throughout. It's a good question, it's a good question. Let's get started up here and finish this little design that connects our chandelier. As you can see, it kinda goes up there and it's just kinda okay, if you will. I kinda wanna jazz it up and I think it's an area where we can improve the design a little bit. And it's always good to kinda, the, you know, second guess just a little bit, not, not crazy, because I kinda take that to the extreme, but to kind of look back at what you did and say, how can I improve? How can I improve? what's here that I can take to the next level a little bit. And I feel like 
this is a good spot to do that. You're like, we're, we've got a good area here of improvement. Getting the lay down here. Good, good, good. Awesome, beautiful. And what, what I'm going to do here is incorporate a little bit more cyan here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one and make a boom, boom, bam, 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 boom. <laughs> I'm going to go over here just a little bit farther up to here. And let's see, click that. There we go. Awesome. And then continue that up to there. Look, super snazzy. All right, there we go. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go like that, like that. And then I'm going to connect over to here. And then let's jump up here a little bit farther. And hopefully this looks good. Hopefully this will look good. Um, I've got another kind of idea for this section. We'll do that in a little bit. There we go. Looking nice. Oh, I like that quite a bit. I, I like that. That looks, I, that's, that's nice. That's really nice, I think. Okay, good. We got that all settled. Now I'm going to place some blocks like this under here like that. There we go. Give that there just a little bit extra, just a little bit extra. Um, this one kind of sticks out a little funny, but for the most part, I think that'll be totally okay. I think that'll be okay. And then it will just kind of run these blocks over here to kind of intersect with the rest of them. And I think that I think that looks nice. Okay, sweet. Now we'll move on. All right, so we'll now move on to this area over here. Now that's the good question here. That's the good question. Let's see what we can do here. Let's do a sneaky block. And then I'll put that up there and then we'll do one more sneaky. Mm, let's skip sneaky block there and do a straight up block like that. And I think that could be really nice. Um, let's see just as an experiment. Let's just see if we can do this. Mm, no, no, I think it looked better the other way. What, what were your thoughts? Let's let's swap it back and uh, put it down like that. But anyway, I think that is a good solution for that and just gives it a little bit extra kind of plus, gives it just a little bit more design, kind of carries on the kind of, uh, let's actually put these all the way across here. There we go, I like that better. Looking from below, well, now we're really looking from below. But anyway, you saw what I was doing there. I placed an additional, um, you know, half slab under each one of those till we nearly died. So yeah, I think that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna continue it on all the other sides and then we'll clean up the scaffolding and we'll take a look at our finished project. All right, and welcome back. And let's take a look at our progress. So let's head into our now complete lobby. Look at that, isn't that absolutely amazing? Look at how we've connected the chandelier with that amazing little arch. And of course, the floor we have built today looking super snazzy with all of its amazing colors and designs all built in here. Absolutely looking super snazzy. And of course, if you have any suggestions on any improvements to the build, definitely let me know. And uh, I really want to hear your guys' opinion. Let me know how it's looking so far. If you have, of course, like I said, any improvements you want to, you know, add to it, definitely let me know. And I uh, really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos and if you believe the video deserved a rating that would be much appreciated and until next time we'll see you later and don't forget to follow me on facebook and twitter go like hmm i might go like this i might do that kind of like that kind of like that but i'm not 100 percent sure i want there to be something nice like right here but i haven't quite decided what i want to do but 